place to bring students or come here and get ideas, your ideas yourself. There's a concert coming up real soon. Uh, check their website, check the Gorman website. There's a concert and I guess we'll be probably out here. Yeah, that's on uh, August 13th. It's uh, Navajo jazz musician uh, Delbert Anderson. The Mandavi Center is paying for the whole thing. It's a free concert, but we're hosting it here. So uh, it'll so bring your chairs and we're gonna have food trucks and that's <laughs> it, but it's not till 7:30 at night, so hopefully we won't melt. Um, but Fire it's gonna be Fire right Fire here. Fire food truck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've already been listening to his music. Uh, Navajo, New York Navajo. That's my my favorite. This is a project that um, came up during the first the first opening here, and I got encouraged by the professor, by my daughter Tracy, uh, to do this, and they both helped help me out on it. And we literally put it up in like a two days. I think that their encouragement and help, and so we we, we did this. Uh, I won't go into the whole thing because um, what I wanted to share with you guys, all of you, is uh, when you have a chance or you can, pick, I don't know, no pictures, I guess. Is it pictures? Yeah, yeah. I, don't okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Because you're all teachers and I'm hoping that you'll use it as um, how, however you use it in your classroom. Uh, very emotional to do this stuff, working on it for uh, gathering the, piece, the, the things that I wanted, the important things I wanted on it, and um, was really hard. Because this is a bear that, uh, I'm not sure if he was really the model, because I think he came after the bear, bear flag revolt thing, but uh, what it represents is there is a bear um, that was captured in the San Gabriel Mountains in 1889, I believe, um, because of this man. Uh, he wanted a bear and he wanted it alive so this man went and got it he was one of uh, he worked for the the gentleman in the suit and that's Rand william randolph hurst and alan kelly and uh, he wanted a grizzly so he asked one of his journalists to do that so he went out and it took him a, a few months to before they could get one and uh uh, capture it and bring it back to San Francisco. So he was in captivity for 22 years <coughs> in a pit, in a cage, on cement. So that's what this kind of depicts is, is his life. So that's his life. Um, this one represents Gold Rush, and that's a bear trap that they made because, of course, the bears were a nuisance. Um, they were used for entertainment. They would chain them up and um, use them for entertainment. This one depicts mission days because the conquistadors, this was at our mission. Um, I forget which one it is now, I can't. I left my glasses home this time. Uh, but uh, mission days on a Sunday after mass, they had entertainment and they would chain him up and have bull fights. There were cougar fights. Sometimes they put two bulls on him. Um, this is their form of entertainment after leaving church. This guy made, um, it took like, what, two and a half bears to make that chair. These were commissioned by, I, I didn't even want to put that man's picture up here. Um, but anyway, he made these chairs and gave them to presidents. So um, that's what it represents, but it also re represents our history. Everything that happened to, to that bear happened to us. So that's what I wanted you to, to hear in it. <clears throat> it wasn't only the animals, because they went extinct in uh, 20, 23 or 24, 22, 23, 24, somewhere in that neighborhood, early 20s. Um, they were extinct. So there's no more grizzlies here. Uh, Cal Academy of Sciences now has him on display. He was called Monarch. I don't even like saying the M word I said, but um, Hearst named him Monarch after one of his newspapers. Monarch Bailey's, and um, they have uh, the Academy has had his pelt for all those years. Uh, Twenty, no, so he died in. Oh gosh, I got my dates all straight now. I'm trying to do this real fast. But anyway, you can look that kind of stuff up. There, there, um, there's information on the website for that. But his history is our history, 
But it's not only the humans, the two leggeds, it's the four leggeds. It's all the plants that you saw out at the garden. It's a lot of those plants that are no longer here. I personally know of, of one that I can't find anymore. Uh, because of the, the cattle and the agriculture, the mining and everything that went on, that all of those things are, um, a lot of that is all lost now. You can't get it back. There is talk of, uh, there's a group, that organization that wants to re, re um, bring back the grizzly to California. Repatriation. Yeah, yeah, they want to bring him back probably oh, from okay. Yellowstone. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 They want fun. to bring him back. <laughs> to what? To what? <laughs> so, uh, one of the other stories that connects the, the Gorman story to the bear, too, is the one was captured right out here in these tall street, trees behind the Gorman. In that grassy area, there's some tall trees, and he, was, he had wandered on the campus and was captured. Another one before that was killed on the freeway, probably mm -hmm. when you're leaving, it'll be on 80 mm -hmm. and 113. He was trying to cross there and he was killed. So we want to bring them back so he could run over them. One was just killed, uh, hit by a car in, I think, El Dorado County. Mm -hmm. And by the time Fish and Gabe got there to remove him, somebody had already cut off all four paws. Mm -hmm. oh. so, um, I know you guys can't tell that to your class probably. You'll have every parent knocking on your door. <laughs> but th uh, that's the history, uh, however you want to tell it. That's why I'm saying, hey, maybe we need to go move that fourth grade stuff up to some other grade, I don't know. So that's the story of him. And I want to get us moving on to everything, but I just wanted to show this is for sale out there. And I'm not, I'm not plugging it down. I'm not the artist. I'm not <laughs> trying to get you. But um, does anybody know who Nicole Mann is? I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. Nicole Mann is uh, of Wailaki descent from the Round Valley uh, Reservation. She's an enrolled member there. Uh, Mike, that you heard talk a couple of days ago, is, is uh, Wailaki went to and then uh, I forget his other affiliations. But she's, uh, Nicole Mann was a the commander of one of the ships that just, I can't even think of the name of it right now. So. I, I was really happy when Veronica and them found this artist that brought this in. And so it represents, it's got moccasins on. So that, it means a lot. It just like was really emotional to have this. So remember Nicole Mann, first native woman in space, and she was a commander. I watched the whole thing. I watched like two or three hours of liftoff before they even left. They're in, you know, <laughs> command center and all that stuff. It was, it was exciting and I watched her come back and land too. Really happy about that. I'm hoping um, whoever's got deep pockets, Mondavi, <laughs> somebody, bring her in to speak. And I would love to see her speak here, not over there, because that's where our bodies are all done. And that way you can start making amends by bringing these artists in, bringing these people in that are significant to California natives. So she's a Northern California girl. So anyway, that ends mine. And we can, I know, I hope we have a lot of time to talk throughout the year, throughout the years, maybe, before you all retire, <laughs> and while I'm still here. <laughs>